Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today I'm going to show you this Phone 7 Emulator Skin Switcher. If you uh, remember, the emulator currently looks something similar to this, most likely on your screen. Um, probably not most likely it is. Um, it's very basic looking, and this is what it is. Um, it can get annoying, especially when you see those sleek new uh, uh, Windows phones out there that are being sold from Nokia, Samsung, etc. So we're going to go forth and left-click Next in this installation wizard, and select Next. And we're going to go ahead and confirm by selecting Next which it is now going to install. Now if you have UAC enabled, uh, in a moment it will probably pop up, your screen will go black and asking for uh, UAC, um, uh, f basically for you to accept it. Uh, the UAC can get annoying, yes, but I highly recommend you keep it enabled. So right now it popped up on my screen and I'm going to select yes. Um, and now it, the installation is quite quick. Um, and it will, again, give us that nice-looking display. Go ahead and uh, complete the installation by left-clicking Close. Now we're going to go ahead and load the um, uh, switcher by going to Start, All Programs, and we're going to slide down until we see it, and here it is. Windows Phone 7 Emulator Skin uh, Switcher. And you can do that by left-clicking. Again, UAC will pop up. Uh, go forth and select yes, and give it a moment. Okay, now here we have the Windows Phone 7, it's, pardon me, Windows Phone 7 emulator skin switcher. It's very nice, and again, it is completely free. Um, but let's just slightly slide through this. Look at these different nice looking screens that you could be utilizing. Which, you know, kind of encourages you more to want to program. Because look how nice these are. And the best is you even get the foreign designs. So if you're in America, obviously you're not going to get uh, some of these screens to even test if you could. Um, but yeah, I mean, these look really nice. And let's just load up our current emulator, which is the default, which is what you see right here. So let's go ahead and try and uh, something here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do something pretty here. Here, we'll do the Nokia Lumia 800. We select that, as you see, right? And so now it claims the skin has switched successfully, right? Well, it doesn't seem that way on our emulator, right? So let's go ahead and close the emulator. Let's see if that mattered. Um, so now we would go to uh, whoops, go to uh, start all programs, and we want to slide all the way down to Windows Phone SDK and Windows Phone emulator. <laughs> it is pretty, and that's so close, if not identical, to what it really looks like, except for you know the buttons are a little bit further down and. Uh, it does have that black frame inside the blue, so, um, except, you know, it's a little transparent. It has my background in here. But other than that, that looks pretty identical. If only they could make the um, emulator load a little bit quicker, that would be <laughs> superb. Anyways, uh, if you wanted to go back to the default, you just simply select default, and uh, you're done. You can follow us on Twitter at Tech Me Show. Also, we're on Google+. Um, and I apologize for making you guys uh, visibly see me, uh, but we were uh, suggested that we have a host in all these videos. And instead of me standing up in a green screen and what have you, I thought it might be best if we uh, just visually uh, had a little camera. So again, thank you so much for watching the Tech Me Show. This is Lance, and well, have a good day.